Hi, it's recently come to my attention that we don't have a video for the mind map tool that's built into WaveMaker, so I thought I'd put a quick one in just to take you through how it works. I'm going to jump into my little test project here, and I was on the mind map page, but I will just uh, jump back to the home page and say, right, if I look down the side menu here, the mind map is here just below the grid planner and just above the timeline tool. So if you click on that, uh, it gives you a very minimalistic interface to start with. You can click on create a mind map, and you can have as many mind maps as you want. Uh, so you could create one for each individual character if need be. So what I'm going to do is just open to one I've already started. And this is going to be Discworld characters. So uh, at the moment, I've got one picture that I've dropped in there. Now, a picture can be dropped in by clicking on the Add New Image node. It creates a new block in the top left-hand corner. To move it around, you can either click on this little icon and drag with your mouse, or if you click anywhere on it and then use keys on the mouse, on your, sorry, keys on your keyboard, you can move it around by just using the arrow keys. Uh, there's a delete icon here. So that just deletes in the bottom corner. And then you've got this one here, I'm gonna cover in a minute, but the one down the bottom right is for the images, is the upload option. So it asks you for an image, we're going to stick in Lord Vetinari. And I'm going to move him over here. I'm going to add a text node now and put in the name of the character. These text nodes can be as big as you like. They resize, but more importantly, you can type lots and lots and lots and lots in there, and it will stay in there. I'm going to add another image just to show you through this. Uh, we go again. I'm going to say Rincewind, and in he goes. Now I've got a few characters. I'm going to add some nodes. So names for now, I think. Now don't worry if a node appears over the top of another one. It's easy enough just to click and move. Now you'll be thinking there's not a lot of space on screen at the moment, and there isn't. But if you drag over, you'll notice that the scroll bar kicks in. It extends out. Now it only extends out to the uh, right and down. Uh, if you feel like it's all a bit tight, you can use the zoom feature that's built into every web browser, which can either use the control plus and minus keys or control and wheel your mouse. Now, what this does is it gives you the ability to sort of zoom in and out at will uh, and get a good look at the overall thing and position stuff together. I like to keep it generally about here, uh, especially if you've got a particularly large image in there. So you might want to crop your images down to a smaller size if needs be. Uh, now, how do you link all these together? Well, it's quite straightforward. You click on the item you want to link. I'm going to take most of the text out of there that I've put in. And you'll notice this little corner icon. You click on that, and it says, choose a note to link to. You click on that. That's selected that note now. And if you click on the link, that's the third step of it, it creates the link in the background there, see? Same thing can be done here. And the same thing can be done here. Now I've linked all the names to the characters for now. If you move the components, they keep the link in place. Now what you want to do quite often is link more than once. So let's get something that they have in common. Uh, let's go with the They both appear in the Curry Practice book, Guards, Guards. We have both Veterinary and Vines. And if I remember correctly, my Curry Practice history is a little fluffy. Um, we have Veterinary and Rincewind do actually encounter each other in poof, Eric, is it? Or it's not Sorcery. Okay. Really trust my memory. I probably am wrong, and if there are if there are comments saying I'm wrong, that's fine. And so basically, you've hit the straightforward way of creating a mind map. Here is we've linked stuff together. It links and moves, and should give you a little bit of organizational time for your projects. I hope you enjoy it.